I think that terrorism is something very real. It's not just something that we hear on the news. Um, for me personally, I spent uh, a year in Israel and uh, I was there the year of uh, the evacuation from Gaza. And um, I actually got to spend some time in Gaza shortly before the evacuation. Um, and um, I heard the, the Qasem rockets. Um, I saw the damage that was done, uh, houses demolished, and um, it just that experience just struck. Uh, it just really um, struck me very, uh, very strongly, and. Uh, I sort of realized that, you know, for me, um, I live in America, uh, you know, until September 11th, uh, you know, terrorism wasn't something that I thought was so real. But um, now, you know, even in Western countries, there's, there's bombings, there's, uh, there's terrorism, there's threats of terrorism. Um, and it's not only you know, terrorist groups now, it's also entire countries. Um, Iran right now has, or is coming close to obta obtaining nuclear weapons. Um, and I think that that's dangerous, not only for select countries in the region, but it's dangerous for the entire world. And um, terrorism just doesn't, uh, affect only the people who, who get hurt or get killed, although it, you know, it definitely hurts them the most, but it really hurts everyone. Um, if, if you know that you can be um, attacked by a terrorist you know, in your everyday activities in the supermarket or driving to work, you're going to react differently, and, um, and that's scary. And uh, I think that we have to really make sure that we make our utmost, um, we make it a high priority. Uh, everyone can help in their own way, just creating uh, awareness and um, telling our government leaders to be, um, to make it a, a high priority to try to deal with these issues and keep the world safe.